Good morning. There are only five weeks left of school, 25 days. Uh, this is May, and we continue with testing. We are on a regular dress this week. In fact, there's a challenge for Friday. If nobody has dress code issues on Friday, I, we will have an extended lunch if no students. So you know the students who have dress code issues that sort of push it a little bit, tell them not to do it on Friday so that we have an extended lunch. But the celebration reward is that next week when we begin math testing and math classes, cozy free dress all week long with a celebration to bring your favorite stuffed animal on Friday. Um, and then there's lots of stuff happening next week. Uh, skate night, a talent show uh, the following week, a beach day, and then our eighth graders go to camp. There's like the last day for late assignments. So here's some details. First of all, it's teacher appreciation week. So if you haven't already, have somebody from your advisory group go to the office and get an index card to fill out a note of appreciation. I think that's how our advisory group will just end, just recognizing the way that the adults who do this thing for a job really bring their whole selves to be with you. So write a note for advisor. It means a lot to our teachers and staff when, when you notice them and appreciate them. Um, and thank you for the PTA for all the things they're doing. Eighth graders, you guys get to party this Friday at um, Sky Zone, but you have to fill out two waivers on Parent Square by today in order to go. It's a free event. It's sponsored by the high school. It's just for our eighth graders only. Um, it's so much fun and free. Eighth graders also... Your written speeches, if you'd like to be speakers at promotion, are due Tuesday. Miss Gordon will be coming into class to talk more about it. Next week, we have state testing in math classes. The following week, we'll have makeup testing for math. We only have 19 students that um, need to finish the English portion of the test, so we'll be pulling students from classes. Cozy free dress, remember, stuffed animal next Friday, not this Friday. However, the bonus is this Friday. If everyone is wearing dress code tomorrow, extended lunch um and uh the skate nights on tuesday it's right after school four to six in fountain valley it costs eight dollars and fifty cents um it, it's really fun it, the, oh the skate night thing it's open to everybody so bring all of your friends and family um come and skate Let, let's hang out together the talent show is doing a lot of good work to bring in acts including teachers so there's a couple more rehearsals those are listed here um, and then next week, it's the talent show. It, it's going to be so much fun. At Cross Country also is gathering a whole bunch of people to just run for fun. Um, so good job, you guys. It's fun to be a part of things. And we have alumni coaches that are helping uh, organize those fun after school. A couple more practices, and then the meet is next Friday. And then looking into the future. The summer event's coming, the beach day. There's some pictures from this last week. Our student leaders are amazing, um, welcoming in new students. Final late assignments. You are not to wait until the last week of school to say to your teacher, what can I do to raise my grade? Or How, can I do extra credit? What you can do is today, not today, tomorrow, go to office hours. Go to office hours. Eighth graders, because you're going to camp, your final late assignment day is one week earlier. So you only have two weeks until your final late assignment. There's a really great article um, that's out there about how the focus on intellectual virtues is changing education. And so for a final virtue shout out, um, Malia and Caitlin on a tour, the final tour is next week. Malia and Caitlin were asked questions and were just so reflective and thoughtful, articulate, that they were clearly practicing intellectual courage by talking to these strangers about the way their mind works, the way the, that they think the school works, the way that teachers work. Um, and and by, by the ways that they approached it they just demonstrated so much curiosity not like arrogance like I know what's going on but like wondering and curious and putting things together it, it was really wonderful to be a part of and then I just also want to shout out Miss Schmidt Miss Schmidt it loves math so much and wants to share the joy of that um, it, it is clear that Miss Schmidt just continues to wonder about the way things work and um, and and wants to invite people into it. So I like that wondering and the sharing of wonder is this beaut it's a beautiful demonstration of curiosity for our community. So thank you for all of you individuals who make our community better and also wear dress code on Friday. Cozy free dress next week.